Hello fabulous Aquarius, welcome to your monthly horoscope for the month of May 2012. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. Astrology is a living practice and as such, as we have come to understand ourselves as human beings differently, so too has astrology evolved. It has responded to these changes. Now there are tons of political and historical and social reasons for all this and I'm not going to bore you with a whole academic lesson. If you're interested in that you can go on my website. I had to write papers and my thesis on that and it's all there posted. But the reason that I'm bringing this up for you is because what is happening for you this month can manifest in different ways depending on the level of consciousness that you are at and also depending on what you want and how you want this to manifest. For some of you, you are going to start to feel like, for those of you out there who are particularly independent Aquarians, might start feeling like you want to have a kid. Some of you might find yourself surprisingly pregnant and with child or about to have a child and not sure what you feel about it. And then others will be absolutely delighted by some news of a very possible pregnancy. So that's one way having to do with children, um, moving closer to your dream of being a parent to a child, or if you already have children, just feeling a newfound closeness to them and spending a lot more time with them this month, understanding them much more deeply, connecting with them on a heart level. It's all possible for you. Now, as I said, that's one way that this energy could manifest. But the other way that this energy can manifest, the same area of the sky that has to do with children, also has to do with our own personal projects that we consider our babies. And they tend to be creative projects, of course, but in some way, just participating in them fulfills us and allows us to feel that we are slowly uncovering and living our purpose. We are moving towards self-actualization and the path to self-actualization included in the path is of course honoring our creativity. And if you are so inclined, then that is the way that this energy is going to manifest for you. It does look like you start to get really serious about a creative project. A new idea may just come up out of nowhere and you go, oh my God, that would be so much fun to do. And I think that that would make a really great business. Or I think that I could make a lot of money doing that. And you're filled with a lot of energy, but then you got to take it a few steps back and you're going to have to think about, can I swing this? Can I make it work? How do I make it work? And the logistics of it then start to come up. And also I am seeing that if it is uh, something closer to the heart in terms of a creative project, you are trying to connect with other people in order to get financing for that dream, in order to get supporters on board for that project. So again, it can manifest in these two seemingly very different ways, but actually if you look at them a little bit more closely, one having to do with children is a lot more literal, but if it is a project close to your heart and that comes from within you that you desire to manifest and you desire to share with the world, then especially for an Aquarian, it can also be considered your baby. Whatever your baby is, it's going to get a lot of your attention this month. It's going to get a lot of your love this month and you're going to start figuring out all the things that you need to in order to ensure that your baby grows up healthy, and strong. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.